Hello, everybody. Am I live? I hope I'm live. Let's see. I'm going to check one other place. <sighs> Seems like I'm live. I am Monica Gilliam, for those of you who don't know me. And I'm also Monica Gilliam, for those of you who do know me. And I am so excited about this topic today. I, um, I might just like wiggle right off the screen. So please forgive me if I tremble away um, as I talk about the most exciting thing in the universe, which is all that we can create with this glorious planet. And the topic of today's live is creating a park in every home. And for, let's see, about 20 years ago, I created my 60 year plan, which was to create one park, just someday with this lifetime to create a park. And then that has been growing and growing. And now my secret evil master plan is to create this entire planet as a park. And so I've been looking at, you know, what is a park? And, um, and this is where we get to today's topic. A park is a space that creates habitat for many plants, for many animals, and it's a place that, that is a space of ease. You all know what this is. And my, my question of, you know, what would it take to create this entire planet as a park? That opens a bunch of different ideas about what, what does a park mean to each of us? What if right, right this second, you could enjoy the park that it is? And how can you go even further with that? So if my apartment is a park, what can I be doing to contribute to this park? What can I be bringing in? What space can I create that is a space of ease and peace in a way that is dynamically shifting and changing? And what, what can I be to be a steward of the park of my apartment? Um, and so this is, hello everybody, it's really nice to be here with you all. But so this is the, the question that I have for you all. Like, what would it take for you to create your home as a park? And maybe that means including different plants. Maybe it means just allowing yourself to be present with exactly what's there and reaching out even further to the entire world around you that is so willing to contribute and be nurturing. I mean, just take a moment and be present with this planet. It's so exciting to be in this group with all of you who are asking to be earth wizards. And the question that I have is like, what, what else is possible for us to step into being stewards of the earth? And if you can let go of all of your points of view about what that needs to be and what that can't be and what you know isn't included in that, like what if right in this moment, you could be a steward of the earth just by the energy that you're being. And then what do you get to play with? What do you get to engage with? So there are a bunch of things that I would like to talk about. And one is all of, so, okay. So our bodies are able to be here on this planet really with, the assistance of plants, right? They assist us to be able to breathe and to have food and to create shelters and all sorts of stuff, right? And each plant 
is host to so many different things. It's, it's, it can be a contribution to all sorts of systems, like different trees can be home to thousands of species. The interconnectedness, the moment you start to look at it, it just explodes. Like if you were a scientist trying to explore all of the pathways of connection and communion between one place you would spend your whole life and never get to it all, you know? And the cool thing is that we are engaged in all of this, this interconnected communion, and we can play with all of this in a way that contributes to all of this. And we don't have to understand it, we just get to engage. And there are so many ways that you can engage and just you beginning to have a sense of curiosity and question is that engagement unfolding? It is that engagement expanding and opening up greater possibilities for you and for the world around you. So with the plants, there are all sorts of ways that you can go explore and discover what it is that they're creating for one another. But whether you feel like doing that or not, just including plants into your world, whether that is just like walking down the street or buying plants and bringing them into your home, that is a way that you can play with your own stewardship of the world, your own engagement of the world. I, um, for a while, as I've been working with Access, I've been traveling a lot, and so I, I didn't always um, want to have plants inside my home because I wasn't always going to be around to water them or take care of them. And then I realized, like, wait a minute, this entire planet is my home. And so what I like to do is, as I'm walking down the street, I will, I will be a gardener to the entire earth. If there's something that I see that requires, you know, even to be watered or to be pruned a little bit, I just go ahead and do it. And I talk to the plants and play with them. And I would like to invite you to do that. And, and part of it is that it's not about getting it right and doing it perfectly. It's about really like, opening up your own engagement, your own curiosity to see what else you can discover. And like, if you're starting to bring plants into your home or plant differently in your garden, you may discover sometimes that like, you, you kill a plant or a plant doesn't survive. And that's okay. That's a part of the engagement too. And you never need to worry about being judged by the plants or being made wrong by the earth. Your engagement, no matter what occurs, is such a gift. And so whether that's you walking down the, the street and noticing the trees that are there and just enjoying them, that is a way to be stepping into expanding the ways that you can be a steward of the earth. And then really that's like the jumping off point. But there are so many like I was saying, there are so many animals and different types of, even different types of like bacteria and fungi that are uh, hosted by plants. And so I'm, a little while ago, I got really curious about like, what are the animals in your area that you could create habitats for? Are there little birds that you're already feeding? Are there like chipmunks that you could feed? What if you could begin to really say hello to all of your neighbors that are not just the people neighbors and create spaces for them to be with you? And then what does that bring up? You know, when I was first looking at that, 
immediately I thought, oh no, I can't even think about that because then if I start feeding like the squirrels then that will create a problem and there will be too many squirrels and my neighbors will get mad. I mean, this was all in my imagination because I don't even have neighbors like that, you know? But, but like, what are the things that you have avoided doing for fear that other people would get upset but that would actually contribute to the planet. And what if you could begin to do that? And they can be so small. Like yesterday I was um, reading, I found this book, it's called The Weather Detective. And I was reading about night vision. And I thought it was gonna be about like how to develop my night vision, but really it was about what our um, artificial lights create at night. And there are some creatures like moths that um, do their flight path uh, via the moon. They're like always tracking the moon. And so then when we have these artificial lights on, they get a little confused. They're like, but the moon moved. And so they go around in circles and just exhaust, exhaust themselves and die. And, um, and then there are all sorts of other insects that get a little bit like kind of confused or, or shifted by the lights that we have on at night. So one thing that you can do is just turn your lights off. <laughs> it's like such a simple thing, but it can have such a huge impact on the world around you. And again, with all of this, it's my, my desire is to invite you into the, the joy of your own exploration with what is possible for you to be a steward of the earth? What is possible for you to engage with the park that is this whole planet? What, what can you be choosing and investigating and playing with that can create even more space for different animals, for, for your own body to have greater ease on this planet? And then what plants can you introduce? What, what can you discover? What is possible for you to create a park in your home? Let's see. That's like, because my master plan, my evil, evil master plan is for this whole planet to be a park. What do you all know about what would create that? Is that just crazy or is that something that you would like to be a part of? And I, I have another Facebook group, it's called Talk to the Plants, where I am doing different um, Facebook lives and stuff like that about very incredibly interesting things like pruning and I'm gonna do some seeds. <laughs> And plant medicine and all sorts of things. So if you guys would like to reach out to me, please join over there and thank you for watching this. Um, I'm so grateful to know that there are so many people that desire to contribute to this world of ours. And what if we can, what if we can make huge changes with even the smallest things that we do? All right. Until later, that's all. Thank you so much. Bye.